Hey there, this is Key, welcome back. Let's break down The Mandalorian Season 3 in less than a minute. Slight spoilers ahead. First off, Bo-Katan Kreese steals the show this season, taking center stage and shining with her badassery, played wonderfully by Katie Sackhoff. Some Elder One logic BS for the Darksaber side. Through her arc, we get a deeper exploration of the current Mandalorian disparate culture, the roots, houses, and Crete, which adds an interesting new layer of depth to the series and an overall highlight of the season. Now, while most episodes have plenty of action and are fantastic, there are a few wonky villain of the week side plots that didn't quite jive with some, leaving us slightly disappointed. This is the nature of the Star Wars franchise as a whole. Small price to pay to finally see Grogu and his dad Elorian reunited. Their bond is pure Star Wars Fabro Felony magic, and we get many memorable moments with Din and his foundling. Lastly, Moff Gideon remains an outstanding villain, though we can't help but feel he was underutilized, especially towards the showdown with the rallied Mandalorians. The Mandalorian Season 3 delivers a satisfying ride and it's worth the watch, more so if you're a fan. I give this one a worthy AF and a popcorn flick. Smash that like and follow if you dig the reviews. Till next time.